not only do you not care about the truth, you don't care that you've created a nuclear holocaust in someone's life. It doesn't matter to you, so long as you get yours. We did a, a life advice segment yesterday, so send your emails to lifeadvice at ladderwithcrowder.com. The segment is actually Tough Love with your guru, Dr. Crowder. I can't claim I'm a doctor, but really, I'm a doctor. Uh, we did that whole show yesterday for those who are Mug Club members. So it's often I'm inspired with this this last segment by a particular email. But uh, we went through what five, six, seven? Uh, I think we had six. It was a lot of fun. People lot. seem to, to to enjoy it, uh, and and hopefully you know it helps helps some people out there. Let me let me be really clear about this. You know, so sometimes some of these segments are a little more flowery. Sometimes I get emotional. I'm just gonna let you know I'm a little bit emotionally drained. It's been I have just been pissed off all day. I'm not gonna, I've been pissed off all day. I've had this hearing on, and I've of course had to take notes, write down time codes, what's being said. I've had to try and, fact. this whole time to wasted a ton of time trying to fact check evidence that wasn't really evidence, only to realize that it didn't matter anyway, and wasted a whole lot of my time. It was just like a, just a, just a pissed off fire hose, just ev any which way but loose, although it was, it was loose. It wasn't, it? fire hoses are loose, they're not hard. But uh, the point is, I'm pretty tired. Uh, that being said, this one's easy. This one's easy. You're watching the hearings when you're thinking about how to navigate it. There's one thing that matters, and there's only one thing that matters, truth. That's it. Truth is what matters. If you go through this process, if you go through, your, you know what, if you go through life seeking truth, if you make that your number one goal, and I know some people right now are like, well, you're a Christian, blah, 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 and Egyptian uh, myth. Just let's, let's drop, the, let's drop the, the factions for a second. Okay, we're talking about truth overall. There are people you know there are people I know. It's pretty easy to see if someone is consistently seeking truth or to live in truth in their life. Notice I didn't say your truth. Notice I didn't say my truth. The truth. There is no my truth. There is no your truth. There is no uh, Ford's truth and Kavanaugh's truth. There is the truth. We don't know the truth right now. This is why this is why this matter, and this is why I get so frustrated with the media coverage. We don't know the truth. Do you know why? Because human nature if left to its own devices, is not truthful. That's why we have the justice system that we do. That's why it's innocent until proven guilty. Have you ever actually thought of that? Have you ever actually sat there and said, hold on a second, why is it innocent until proven guilty? Because that wasn't always the case. Do we want to return to the, Sa do we want to return to the Salem witch trials? And I know it was, well, hold on, hold on. no, no, listen, that wasn't always the case in every single society throughout the beginning. People, when people talk about, hold on a second, morality is, 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 is uh, circumstantial, it's, it's societal. Mm, okay, maybe that, that's true because some societies didn't value mercy. That's why I think that you get your mal you get your values and your inalienable rights by a creator. I do believe in God. You don't have to, but the truth is, not all atheists have the same values. The truth is, not not all religions share the same values. They don't all worship the same God. But have you ever actually thought about why is it innocent until proven guilty? Why did we, when setting up a system on how to judge people, on how to parse information, did we say, all right? We're gonna have to assume someone's innocence until they're proven guilty. It's because we know that if people can use lies to further their own personal position, to advance their own personal gain for power, that they will. We know that. You see it in politics, you see it in the entertainment industry. If people can lie, and if they can do so undercover, if they can be protected by lying, and do it for personal gain. That's why someone's innocent until proven guilty. There's a reason for it. It's so that we don't just say, believe all survivors. That's exactly why it's innocent until proven guilty. How do you know it's a survivor? We have a process to find out if it's a survivor. There's a reason for it. And we've gotten so far off of the beam of seeking truth. Here's, the, here, here's another one I'll throw at you. The left, the progressive left, the people, and I don't mean everyone, but people like the Young Turks, people like the Feinsteins, they don't, not only do they not care about the justice system anymore, not only do they not care about rule of law, not only do they not care about truth, they're just gonna do damage anyway. Even if it's not true, even if it's not proven true, this is the difference now in the era of social media. This is why truth is more important than ever, because now you don't just lose your job, you lose your whole reputation, the way information spreads. It's like being able to kill somebody without a shot fired. You can do it through telekinesis, Kyle. If you were able to do that, just aim a, an, an, an empty gun. That's what, it, yeah, I've got an empty gun, but I can kill you anyway. So like men who stare at goats, you just, I can cause spontaneous combustion. They don't need Kavanaugh to be, they're not even pushing for a trial. 
We can't even compare it to the Salem witch trials because someone was burned at the stake at the end of something that they saw was some sort of justice. In this case, these are just people who are, we don't know the exact motives, but we do know that they don't care about damaging someone's reputation. And that's the thing about the untruthful. That's why it's so important to keep bringing yourself back to the beam for truth. I've talked about the most toxic lies are not only the lies that you tell other people, but the lies that you tell yourself. Because then you get to a point where you can't even identify the truth. If you don't start, if you don't continue and start every morning coming back to that, that, that beam of truth, even if it's, if it's a one inch tightrope and you're on water skis, if you don't make an effort to, you get to the point where you don't, not only do you not care about the truth, you don't care that you've created a nuclear holocaust in someone's life. It doesn't matter to you so long as you get yours. And let me be really clear, if Kavanaugh raped as many people who've come forward, I think it's up to 219 now, it's like the McDonald's ticker, how many billions served, he is the most successful rapist of all time, and I personally, on an emotional level, would actually like to see, see someone like that get the death penalty. And I know people disagree, so I'm, 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 I'm making a point here, let's not get lost in the weeds on the death penalty for rapists, but let me be as clear as possible, if he raped all the people who accused him of it, Throw the book at him. But if he didn't, I feel worse for I feel worse for potential Justice Kavanaugh than any man that I can think of in recent memory. So I'm saying fry him, or my God, my heart goes out to him, and I just want to give the guy and his daughter and his family a hug. Polar opposites. There's only one difference between the two. It's the truth. Hey there, YouTube viewer. If you like this video, watch one of my other videos. Oh. It's playing in one of those boxes. Uh, I'd say subscribe or hit the notification bell, but I don't really know what that means in today's day and age on YouTube. But if you join at louderwithcrowder.com slash mug club, you won't only see clips, you'll get to watch the full daily one hour show every single day and support our content, making sure that we can still get clips up here on YouTube for the freeloaders who can't afford it and or are just cheap pricks.